Ladies and gentlemen, today in the Bulls media has been massive, massive, massive news as we continue the building of the coaching staff, as we continue the building of the front office, as we continue to build a winning franchise with the Chicago Bulls. After a long, long time, we finally have some news about our assistants joining the Chicago Bulls from Big Boy Woj to Big Woj Sham. So who are they? Let's find out in this video. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls video with big news regarding our assistant coaches that are coming to the Chicago Bulls. We finally have things spoken and we finally know who it's going to be and I think a lot of people are very, very happy with these signings as our assistants. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below what are your opinions on the assistant coaches coming to the Chicago Bulls and how do you feel that they will impact the Chicago Bulls team but enough about that for me to get those comments I need to tell you who they are and a lot of you will already know and that's great but it is it, it's just big news so well, first off, we, we, we're going to talk about uh, what Shams said, I believe. I believe Shams was the one that said the Chicago Bulls are going to hire Maurice Cheeks as an assistant coach for the Chicago Bulls, joining Billy Donovan, the former uh, Thunder assistant coach. Has a fantastic resume, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, I do believe he's from Chicago. If I am mistaken about that, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. But that is a fantastic fantastic pickup and for everybody that was talking about the head coach when we didn't have a head coach when Billy Donovan did just get signed straight away people were asking me what do you think about Maurice Cheeks do you think we can get Maurice Cheeks it was all about him so I think majority of the people that were interested in Billy Donovan wanted to have Cheeks in involved in this team and I always said that I, there's always a possibility that, that can happen of course there's always a possibility but it was unlikely well, today, I've got proven wrong. It was very likely, and it happened, and it's big news. I'm very, very happy with this. Of course, you always want the Chicago Bulls to make the right decisions, and so far, they have not put a foot wrong in trying to rebuild this team from front to back, from players to management to coaching, and the coaching staff has gotten significantly better with Maurice Cheeks involved in this team. It's a big, big, big implication of just how much quality we're going to need in the coaching staff to make sure we can build a team. Because at the end of the day, you can have the players, but if you don't have the coaching staff, you're not going to get very far. Well, it looks like we're going to have a fantastic coaching line in front of us. And Maurice Cheeks is going to be the head of that with the assistants, of course. Um, but that's not the only assistant that the Bulls have hired. That's not the only one. Because I believe Mr. Steal Your Girl Woj has said this, and it is... More big news, the Chicago Bulls have hired Bucks assistant Josh Longstaff to the Chicago Bulls assistant coaches. And um, to be honest, I don't know much about Josh Longstaff. I'm not going to come here and lie and say I think he's amazing. I think he's fantastic. I know little to know nothing about him. So if you guys want to get me educated in the comments below, feel free. I don't want to lie to you guys to say I know so much about him. I'm a Bulls fan, but I don't claim to know everything about the NBA. But I think that... Obviously, the Bucks are a winning side. They have a winning mentality. So I think if you get anybody from the Bucks, if you get if you got anybody from the Sixers, the Raptors, anybody from the East or the West that are on a winning side, it's probably better for us because we need that winning mentality here in Chicago. And that's something we haven't experienced for a long time. So that's the only thing I can really say about Josh Longstar. But Woj was the one that announced that one, I believe, or it's vice versa. But that is great. That is big news for the Chicago Bulls. Again, this is a progression. This is the progression that we're looking for. Not necessarily do we need the roster progressed straight away. But what we did need straight away was a fantastic coaching staff that can keep in line the goals, the aspirations, and hopefully targets for this upcoming season, the next upcoming season, and the season beyond. So... It's important that we have that coaching staff in place, that we know that this coaching staff is capable and that they can make the tough decisions. They can do the things that needed to be done. They can help these players the way they needed to be helped. They can find ways to make this team a better team. And it all, it all really begins with that coaching staff. Again, we all 
I believe, majority of us believe that this team was good enough to compete in a playoff position. Not necessarily make the playoffs, but at least compete. And maybe we still could have done that last season, but Jim Boylan did not help things. We lost a lot of games we should have won under Jim Boylan. If you guys remember that start that we had towards the, um, the beginning of last season, we had so many easy games. I believe we had the Hornets twice or something like that. And um, we had pretty much Bolton filter teams. And yet we lost nearly, I think it was the first five games. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But that was the type of situation we were in where we lost all these easy games at the beginning of the season. That shouldn't be the case anymore. Again, it depends on who we have. But the Chicago Bulls now have that front office, have at least a team that is young enough to improve and have... The, the capabilities to switch things up and, and to work on things that need to be worked on and to find a structure in place, to find a way that we're going to be playing properly, to get better ball movement, to find a system that works. These assistants have fantastic resumes and that's all that needs to be said. They have great resumes. They're coming into this extremely... Um, well known, extremely high thought of, and they're coming into this team ready to work and ready to make this team better. It's a work in progress. It's not going to be done straight away. But what we can do and what we can be happy about is that this front office, from the owners that decide to hire Artorias, from Artorias to hiring everybody else, everything seems to be going in the right direction. Not one signing that we've made within our coaching staff, within our management, general manager, even Artorias himself. Not one person has found a complaint about the people that we've signed. I know Mark Eversley might be the biggest divider, but I think Mark Eversley was a terrific pickup. So in the end, we have everything in place now. I think we just need a few scouts. I'm not sure if we've hired scouts or not. And it looks like this front office is ready to go. And now it's up to the roster. The draft is coming soon, guys. And we have everything in place to know exactly who we're going to pick up. These assistants are going to be major, major parts of this Chicago Bulls team. Billy Donovan has said it himself many, many times. He wants people that will work with him and not for him. Wants to work together, form a partnership, form a relationship relationship make sure everybody is equal so these assistants will have so much opportunity here to prove their worth if they want to be a head coach in the future but also prove their worth in terms of how they can make this team better and it's only going to be speak highly of them if the Bulls end up skyrocketing this season and having a terrific year after what was a very like last year last season so the Chicago Bulls Chicago Bulls fans Chicago Bulls worldwide let me know what you guys think about this news do you think this was the right thing to do was Maurice Chiefs and Josh Longstaff the right way to go with the assistant head coaches? Now, at the end of the day, I said that in the beginning of the video, and I'm going to say it now, I'm not well educated on some of these um, accolades that they have. I'm not really well educated on Josh Longstaff. If that makes me a poor NBA fan, then I'll take that on the chin and I'll move on. But I want to be more educated on that. I never claim to know everything. So if you guys have any sort of insight that you'd like to give to me, about these decisions. Now, I know a lot about Maurice Cheeks, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's mainly Josh Longstaff. I don't know much about him. So if you guys if you guys have any information for me, please let me know in the comments. Again, um, feel free to let me know what you guys think about it as well. Anything would do, but just try to keep it respectful for people that might not agree with your opinion. That's, that's always a given on this channel. I, everything should be... Um, commented respectfully just to make sure that everybody can have a say and yeah that's it that's all i've got to say on this video thank you guys for watching it's a short video but it's an impactful video and it's big news and the chicago bulls have completed their acquisitions within the coaching staff it looks like i'm not sure if there's anyone else that we would really need so with that being said please like and subscribe if you're new we are trying to get to 270 which we we're only two subscribers away and we are very very close to 300 which is ultimately the big goal here the long-term goal so have a wonderful and safe day i'll see you in another chicago bulls video stay tuned for more there's still a lot to come we've got trade rumors we've got free agency talk and obviously the draft is coming quickly and it's time to be ready it's time to get hyped have a wonderful day take care and peace.